Okay, so is it true that each of you are trained in different ways when it comes to managing labor and when a baby isn't progressing down the birth canal, I believe, whether it's the, the vacuum uh, technique or forceps? Tell me a little bit about that and why you chose to specialize in different things. Uh, so yes, well, for the most part, the management of labor and delivery is very, very similar, and we all have the similar basic mm -hmm. trainings, but there is an art to sort of the fine points of management of that, and then with the actual delivery, like you said, with the vacuum and forceps, right. that is kind of institution dependent on what is sort of more comfortable and used there. And at my uh, place of residency, vacuums weren't in the hospital and forceps was the art that was done there. And so I was only trained on forceps. I had never really seen a vacuum um, before. Wow. But yeah, it's different skills um, and different ways to do it. But um, we all have different experiences mm -hmm. with that. Yeah, I used forceps maybe once as a resident, just um, not a ton of the providers there um, knew how to use them. It was a little more of a specialty thing. So I got very, very comfortable using the vacuum. And um, yeah, just kind of a matter of what do people already use and what is everybody else who's teaching you, what are they already comfortable with? Right, what about you, Vicki? Yeah, at um, WashU, both were kind of very well practiced, so I kind of have 50-50 experience. Right. But it seems mm -hmm. that forceps are one of those things that are considered old school and people yeah. don't use them yeah. anymore. So yes. are, are, we, are you still using them in practice? Yeah, actually, I had a patient um, two weeks ago who needed them. I couldn't do them. I had to um, call for help from another obstetrician who was in the hospital who used them. But yeah, she used mm -hmm. them and helped me. Yeah, they're definitely more rare, though. Vacuums yeah. are more popular now.